it's Gabe here and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro sequence. I filmed that with my friend James the other day when we were out shooting. And I filmed it with this right here, my Canon 1DX Mark II, because I was testing out the uh, 120 frames a second footage and all that stuff. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. On today's video, we're going to be talking about cinemagraphs. If you don't know what a cinemagraph is, it's basically taking a picture and a video and putting them together, having something still and something in motion. It uh, kind of looks something a uh, little bit like this. So now that you know what a cinemagraph is, let's jump right into Final Cut Pro and see how I created this cinemagraph. Perfect, so we are here in Final Cut Pro and I've already created a project, dragged in the footage that I want to use and all of that. So what we want to do now is uh, take this footage, drag it onto our plate, make that a little bit smaller. And what we want to do first is select uh, the frame which we want to freeze. And I would like for it to be around right there. I think it's, uh, it's a good one. So now that I have this highlighted right here, I'm going to press Option F and that creates a freeze frame. Now that freeze frame, we can go ahead and drag it as much as we want and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to delete the past one. So now that I have my freeze frame, I want to choose now the stream that I want to use. And I think that from like here to here doesn't change that much. It looks pretty good. You don't need too much time. As long as you have something that you can loop, it's perfect. So I'm gonna command blade that, delete this. And I'm gonna drag this one under my other clip. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. And I'm gonna multiply that just a bunch of times until the end of the clip. Okay, now that you have your clips layered over, you have your clip. If you go ahead and you play that back, you're not gonna see any motion because what you're seeing is the top layer, which is the freeze frame that we created. So to get rid of that, we go back here into to this tab right here. Um, we look for the mask, draw mask, and we're gonna throw that on top of our top clip. Now what we wanna do now is, it says right here, click to add a control point. So first thing I wanna do is zoom into this image about 150 so I can see the stream a little bit more. Maybe 200, that looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna start adding points here starting off here and for this specific image I can go a little bit out of the stream because the stream is going to be moving from side to side and all of that um, and I do have a white background it's not gonna it's not gonna give me any errors or anything then I bring it back to the beginning clip and it closes it out now still you're not gonna be able to see anything until we hit here invert mask we hit invert mask and now when we play it back we get to see our coffee moving now on that playback we see that the coffee is kind of like going back and forth and bumping and we kind of want to get rid of that so this is what you have to do in order to get rid of that bumping effect so now that we have this already set up again and we have a pretty straighter stream what we want to do is go ahead and reverse every other clip going here and reverse clip That will create a better loop to your video in order for it to match and seem uh, seamless, if you will. So we go ahead and play that back and it looks like a pretty straight stream. So now all you have to do is fine tune it, color grade your footage and you should be done with it. So after a little bit of tweaking, you get something that kind of looks like this. And that is it guys. That is how you can create a cinemagraph within Final Cut Pro. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys on the next video.